G'day folks, welcome to another tutorial. Um, today I want to talk about the Boolean instructions. We're going to look at four instructions, they're commonly called the Boolean instructions, and they operate on bits. So, um, they're for doing Boolean algebra, and uh, they've all got C++ equivalents, so we'll talk about um, what the C++ version is, and then uh, how you do it in assembly. And we'll also look at exactly what each of them actually does. I'm not sure if it's common knowledge, but um, it's interesting anyway, so um, if you already know what all of the Boolean instructions do, um, you could probably skip this tutorial. Anyway, so the, um, the four that we're going to look at, um, I'll write up a small table. Instruction, and beside that we'll put the name of the instruction, then we'll put the C++, um, what do you call it, operator? and um, maybe what it does at the end. Okay, so the first one we'll look at is boolean AND, then we'll look at boolean OR, boolean XOR. This is not actually, uh, XOR is not actually part of the boolean algebra instruction set, but um, computers use XOR, it's very useful. And the final one we'll look at is boolean NOT. Sorry, that's supposed to be an O. Okay, so AND is just called AND, there's no other name for that. Uh, OR, same, it's just called OR. XOR is short for exclusive OR. And NOT is uh, either just Boolean NOT, or the other name for it is the ONES complement. As opposed to the TWOS complement, which um, we've learnt gives us the negative value. Um, the ONES complement. Okay, so the C++ operator for AND is just an ampersand. If you uh, put an ampersand between two integers, you'll get the Boolean AND. The C++ operator for OR is the pipe. Um, it's either just a single bar, or it might be two bars. I think it's a single bar nowadays. Um, for exclusive OR, the operator in C++ is the I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was supposed to be. It's the carrot or the hat symbol, and the ones complement is the exclamation mark, the not symbol. Okay. Boolean and actually, we won't we won't do the um, final column what it does. Instead, we'll go through one after another and uh, describe what they do. So to to describe what a boolean operation does, you use what's called a truth table, and um, it looks something like this. So A, B, and A ampersand B. That's meant to be an AND, not a 8. And um, we write out each of the possible bit values for A. So there's 0 and 1, but we've got to put um, 2 of each, because beside that we put the bit values for B. So here we have every possible combination of um, 0 or 1 in um, 2 bits. So if A has 0 and B has 0, then A and B gives us zero. If A has one and B, oh sorry, if A has zero and B has one, then A and B equals zero. If A has one and B has zero, then it gives us zero again in the answer. But if they're both one, then um, A and B equals one. So Boolean AND just means um, if both operands have a 1, then the answer is 1, otherwise it's 0. Let's have a look at an example. So if we have in um, AL the value 0, 1, 1, 0, maybe um, 0, 1, 0, 1, something like that for the 8 bits of um, AL, then if we say in BL maybe we've got 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, like that, then um, the instruction AND AL BL will um, perform this boolean operation on each of these two bits so and then it'll store the answer in AL so the first thing that we do is um, we'll AND those two together the rightmost bits and um, for the answer there we get 0 then these two 0 and 0. If we look over here at our truth table, if A is 0 and B is 0, the answer is 0. So we put a 0 there. 
Um, the third bit's from the right, both are set to 1. Looking at the truth table, we see that uh, with the Boolean operation AND, that gives us a 1. So the answer would be 1 there, then we've got 0 and 0 for those two. Um, then we've got two ones again, so there's going to be a 1 there. 1 and 0 gives us a 0, and 0 and 1 gives us a 0. So AND AL BL, when AL has this value, oops, and BL has this value, will lead to um, that being stored in um, AL. OK, so that's um, bitwise or Boolean AND. Let me rub all that rubbish out and we'll get on to um, Boolean OR. OK, so Boolean OR, whoops, I'll just put the um, line to mean or, same as C++. Once again, for our truth table, we draw out the possible bit values. And um, or, the answer to um, Boolean or is um, if either of them is a 1, or both is a 1, then the answer is 1. So it's actually, um, well, let's have a look. 0, 1, 1, 1. It's not exactly the same as uh, the word OR in English. In English, we probably wouldn't have um, this final one, setting 1. You know, if A or B equals 1, sort of means that um, one of them has to be 0. But uh, in Boolean algebra, if they're both 1, then the answer is 1 as well. Alrighty, so what are we going to have here? If we've got A, L equals... Um, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, what the hell is that? 1, 2, one more. And if BL equals 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, something like that, then um, AL or BL is going to calculate the Boolean OR between each of these bit values, and it's going to store the answer in AL. Also, you can use... Um, other sizes other than the character. I'm just using the um, AL and BL because uh, I can't be bothered drawing more than 8 bits. But you can use any size that you want, or up to 64 bits if you really need to. So um, 0 and 0, if we look over at the truth table, if A has 0 and B has 0, the answer is 0. There we go. And 0 and 0, we've been through that. 0 and 0, we've been through that. Uh, here, 1 and 1, look over at the truth table, gives us an answer of 1. So we put a 1 there. Um, 0 and 1 gives us a 1, 1 and 0 gives us a 1, 1 and 0 gives us a 1, and 0, 1 gives us a 1 as well. So AL or BL, when um, they've got these two values respectively, is going to lead to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 being put into AL. Okay, so that's um, Boolean OR. Let me rub that out. Oh, I shouldn't have. Okay, the next one is uh, exclusive or a exclusive or b or a x or b zero zero one one zero one zero one. Um, exclusive or is um, pretty much just the English or, so it means um, either a or b is set to one, but not both. Okay, so if they're both zero, the answer is zero. If um, one of them is one like here, the answer is 1, and here also, the answer is 1, but this is where it differs from um, OR, Boolean OR, if they're both 1, then the answer is 0. Okay, so this is um, the equivalent of English OR. Let's have a look. AL equals um, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. There we go, and if BL equals probably use something other than AL and BL, but um, never mind. Uh, if BL equals 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 1. Maybe something like that, for example. Okay, so we get each pair of uh, bits and we compare them and we um, Boolean all them. First of all, um, the rightmost, 1, XOR 1, gives us 0 from the truth table. Um, 1, 
XOR 0 will give us a 1, 1 XOR 0 will give us a 1, um, 1 XOR 1 gives us a 0, um, 2 zeros will give us a 0 from the truth table, uh, that'll give us a 1, that'll give us a 0, and that'll give us a 0. So AL, XOR, BL, when they have those two values, would result in AL having that value. Alrighty, so that's XOR. Exclusive OR, in other words. And the final one, um, the NOT instruction, which just looks uh, rather like this, NOT, and then reg slash mem. That's supposed to be a square bracket. Um, this one only takes one operand. Uh, it can either be a register or memory, and all that it does is it um, flips every single bit. So zeros become ones, and ones become zeros. So we have in, um, let's step out, shall we? In CX, if we have um, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have stepped out, should I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, if that's CX, then um, the command not CX is going to lead to um, the exact opposite of that being stored in CX. So the exact opposite of that is, um, well this becomes a 1, that becomes a 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. There we go, every bit becomes flipped. Um, do remember that this doesn't give us the negative number. Um, if CX happened to have a signed value in it, which it did actually, because this bit wasn't set to 1, um, not CX will give us a negative number. This bit has become a 1, but it's not going to give us um, negative whatever that was. Instead, to get the negative number, you go um, not CX and then ink CX. Um, those two commands there will give us um, negative of whatever CX had. Uh, you probably remember that there is a, a better way to do that, and it's just um, neg CX, which is functionally equivalent, but twice as fast as those two instructions. Okay, so that's um, the Boolean instructions. And um, don't worry if they seem a bit odd or if you are unfamiliar with the Boolean instructions, it might seem as though they're um, a complete waste of time, but uh, they're actually very, very interesting for um, masking things and, you know, telling if uh, numbers are di divisible by two. We can go through uses of them some other time. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening. See ya.